Hey, please laugh over here. Who's feeling nostalgic for an, an easier time? An easier time. <sighs> this game is aesthetic AF. One of those wake up on a Saturday morning times. Oh no, I got math homework due on Monday. It's long division. Shit sucks. That's the stuff. But I'm not worrying about that right now. And there's yeah. Jeff. Jeff, are you okay? You're laying on the ground. You're <laughs> really. Uh, you said long division, and I disassociated. <laughs> it's funny. I genuinely, uh, playing Mario 64, uh, this is what I equivalent to being my earliest memory that I have. Oh, yeah. And um, it's me being shirtless, wearing Toy Story pajama bottoms, having um, raspberry-flavored toaster strudels, Eating it off of a green plastic plate, watching Matt play this game. That's, See, I have that's similar... what I think my, oh, my earliest memory of my entire life is. Love this game. So glad we're playing. Max that bad today. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have. I'm a little older than Zach, so I have earlier memories of like watching Power Rangers and just throwing Legos at my brother. But Hell yeah. I have a lot of fun memories. And I was in a similar position to Zach because I have an older brother. So he played this and I watched him. And I remember one time we were like playing like. It probably wasn't that late at night, because we were, like, little baby kids. Yeah. Um, but, you know, like, if you leave the game idle, Mario will go to sleep. And, yeah. And my yeah. mom walked into the room, and m my brother and I were just, like, passed out. Because it was, I don't know, it was probably, like, 9 o'clock at night. But then Mario was sleeping, too, and she was, like, she thought it was the funniest yeah. thing. <laughs> She's like, oh, they're all asleep. That's awesome. Hell yeah. It is wholesome. Matt, so I, how many times have you beaten this game in your lifetime? Um, I want to say, like, six. What? No, more. More. You think so? If you if you include the the 3DS version that you had, mm -hmm. the N64 one, the, the OG, the N64. <laughs> I mean, I genuinely believe that you, you know, at least ten. Yeah. Okay. Maybe not a hundred percent. I I feel like I've played this game a lot. Yeah. Like a thousand hours worth, you think? Maybe. Do you have every Someone star memorized? I watched him when this uh, version came out, the 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 3D All Stars. He like the get the day it came out, he popped it in. He started playing this game. I watched him blow through 50 percent in the game in just a couple hours, just like just out of nothing, just sat down and started playing it. So yeah, hell yeah. Well, even that other file that was on here, it was like 100 something stars. Only yeah. 120 in the game. Yeah, yeah I, I think was, you read 111. I was at 111. Yeah. So I mean. He's the expert. My other memory of this game, I might have told this story. I tell this story a lot because I think it's hilarious. I was at a friend's house and we popped the game in. And you know sometimes like you don't put the cartridge in all the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it gets weird. Yeah. And the game booted up and it was like this like really like fuzzy black screen and, and like the voice of Mario came up and it was like, It's me, Mario. <laughs> and then you got so scared you dropped your pizza bagels. <laughs> and it was like a thing of just like, I have the memory, but it's like I don't I don't know if that was real. It feels like it was real. Yeah. I remember it so vividly. Yeah. It's so funny, like some dreams you have as a kid, you just remember that shit. Yeah. And yeah. uh you know, I I used to dream about this game because, you know, nine year old Zach was like, This is my life, is yeah. this game. But freaking like I remember having a scary dream like pretty young about like my mom who was like in the top of this hill of this level, but the hill was a volcano. And then she like fell off of the hill into like this rock area on the side where the balls bounce, these blue balls that we're about to see. She was like standing down here. And then I like walked up behind her and she was like really, really mad. And she yelled something at me. And I woke up like terrified, and I was like afraid of my mom for like two whole days. What the heck? Isn't that strange? Yeah, it's and weird it's to like, me that you would be afraid of your mom. Yeah, my mom's the nicest lady, and I was probably like five or six when I had that dream. But looking back, I'm like, I remember that shit. Yeah. Like, what the heck? You know, the weird thing about my story is like, I was at, I think you have to go move farther in, yeah. I was at my friend's house, like I said, but it was like someone who was like, I was friend with for like a brief period of time. <laughs> what? It's just funny, I was right in front of him. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, I was like one year of school, like we were in like a class, same class together, so like we hung out a lot, but like after that year of school, I didn't see him that much anymore. Like, I don't know if he moved or maybe I moved, um, but like we never kept in touch. I have some friends from that period of my life, 
that I have kept in touch with a little bit as an adult. But like I, I haven't seen that kid since I was eight or nine. Hmm. So it's like I have no one to corroborate this story. I don't even know if that kid exists. <laughs> Maybe I made him up. Pretty sure his name was Dane. Great Dane. Dane. Dane Cook. Yeah. Yeah, Dane Cook, if you're watching this, do you remember when we hung out and we played Mario 64 and you were like 20 years older than me? Yeah. <laughs> Mario was a demon for a minute. Yeah, and I cried and you consoled me. Then my mom fell off a hill and got mad. Have, yeah. have you guys ever had that nightmare where um, like a parent or a loved one has their back turned to you and then you put your hand on their shoulder or something like that and then they turn around and they're like a skeleton or something crazy like that? No, that sounds like a, like, it's like such a cliche, and I love it. Yeah. Yeah, that happened to me. I'm trying to remember, it doesn't sound like, right off the bat, I'm like, yeah, boy! As a child, I had a reoccurring nightmare, where, like, an assortment of villains from, like, my, my childhood medias that I, you know, I like, watched a lot, like, such as Darth Vader, probably some of the Power Ranger villains. Yeah. They, like, got together, and they were, like... Killing people using giant life-size voodoo dolls with like oh, a magic man. sword. It was terrifying. That is terrifying. Sounds terrifying. I still it's remember kind of it pretty badass. vividly. Darth Vader was in charge. <laughs> he's got big boss energy. He's got big dick energy. I mean, he's just a big scary dude with like a badass helmet. I mean... Some of the best uh, evil boss design of all time. Yeah. I mean, he's just based off of like samurai. I think his helmet's like a samurai helmet. Yeah, it is. Well, samurais are cool. Yeah, I mean, if I saw a samurai in real life, I would be frightened. You got beef against the nine ronin? No. I don't want them to fight me, is what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm scared of them. Oh, square up. They're good with swords and shit. <sighs> I'm not trying to be rude towards this turtle, but... He's a turtle. He's, He's slow, man. Me, baby. Matt's got them speedy vibes, and this guy's got them... Take a nap... Eat some lunch. Oh shit, am I supposed to be somewhere right now, Vibes? Yeah, that's me. I'm the turtle. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can, uh... What I respect about the turtle... Yeah, it gets here. Yeah, take a little nap. Take a snooze around. What I respect about the turtle is that through all the Mario games since then, he's still been walking. He, like, he's into exercise, and good for him. Look at him. Oh yeah, give me that He's rad as hell. His eyeball is his head. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. I also love that, like, this is, like, the yeah. first time where it's, like... Koopas are cool. They're yeah. your friends. Yeah, I mean, they're not so You don't bad. gotta murder him. Yeah, he's cool with you. You know, somewhere deep down inside, there was a guy that was a huge fan of the first three Marios who played this game, and he's just like, oh, I can't jump on him! Why can't I jump on him? I want to kill this motherfucker. What if it's the guy? <laughs> Maybe it was, uh... Like, Miyamoto was like, I created these beautiful turtle creatures. I really like them. I'm sad that we have to kill them in every game. So in this game, this guy's good. Yeah. If you think about the advancement... But he's like, fuck Goombas. <laughs> <laughs> they get stomped. If you think about the advancement from the last Mario to this Mario, what a leap, bro. You know what I mean? What was the last Mario before this Mario? Mario 3. I'm telling you. No, it was Super, Super Mario World. World. Well, it was probably Yoshi's Island. Yeah. Because I think that came out in like the later life cycle of the Super Nintendo. Uh. But Super Mario World was before that. Well, I will say is, Shit's I mean, crazy. it's still a big leap. Yoshi's Island, aesthetically, is one of my favorite games of all time. It's beautiful. For a Super Nintendo game, I think it's an absolute gem. I'm thinking I need the wing cap to get this one. Which one? The the, the red coins? You might. Um... Or I'm, I think it's I'm just the cannons. Able, yeah. I think you just need the cannons. The wing cap makes it easier, but yeah. if you have the cannons, you should be good. Big true. Be true, bro. Be true, be bro. <laughs> Baby, the bank. I think the thing in this game that just like blew my mind as a child is the fact that you can like let the chain chomp go. It's just like that was like a way to interact with the game that just like you couldn't do before. Yeah. Or it didn't feel as like monumental of a thing. Yeah, like this game had a huge. Um amount of discovery for me because it was like one of the first 3D games I've ever played. And it was like, man, you could do this thing? Wow, you could do that thing? Whoa. Yeah, I mean, so much of video game shorthand comes from like this in Ocarina of Time. Yeah. yeah. Especially in 3D games where it's like doing things to trigger other events and like exploring the world. Mm -hmm. So much of it comes from these two games. And they're like my, probably my, two of my favorite games of all time. 
There's a lot of people that I have been talking to recently who just like openly say that Ocarina of Time is not their jam, and I'm like, I respect people's opinions, but it just does not make any gosh damn sense to me because like, what the hell? You know who what are I mean? these people? I, I'm not. I'm not judging them because I know like Aaron Hansen from the game. Aaron, Grumps. Aaron Hansen <laughs> from the <laughs> game. Well, Grumps. he just says that it's not a perfect game and that it could be. Better. But he also. Like watching their playthrough of it, obviously has a good time, but he also gets really frustrated with the game, and um, makes me sad because I love it. Yeah. But I I've never met someone personally who experienced it as a kid that doesn't love it. I gotta say though, I I I will be the first one to admit that I am completely blinded by like nostalgia, even so yeah. much to the fact that. The OST of that game, like I get emotional. I listen to the, like, the fairy. Uh, I think I talked about this on the channel already, but I, I listened to recently the. Um, by recently, I mean like an, eight, two years ago. Right. <laughs> but I, I listened to the um, the fairy the fairy queen song, the fairy song. The fairy fountain. Yeah, you know, and I literally I got emotional because I was just thinking about like, you know, that watching my older bro brothers play that game and. You know, like, I have memories, and they're all connected to food for some reason. <laughs> you love food. I love food. Of Just like, oh man, like, peanut butter and honey sandwiches with my two older brothers, and we were playing this game, and I I remember watching them, like, at this area. And I remember thinking to myself, that uh, freaking queen lady is, like, has her boobs out, and it was, like, kind of hot for, like, a ten-year-old me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious! No, no. <laughs> well, I think, <laughs> I think, um... Well, I'll say, because I, 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 I've mentioned this several times, I've recently bought the game again. Yeah. And I started playing through it just because I was excited to have it. And in my opinion, it holds up. Yeah. Like, it's an N64 game and it's old, but it holds up. Like, it's still fun. Yeah. The boss fights are still fun. Like, the game is fun to just go through. Like, I don't know. I love it. It's cool. Are you still having fun, Matt? Yes. Matt's in the zone. He, I, he's like... He's disassociating. He's not here anymore. He's Mario. <laughs> Matt's what? brain is the Mario's. <laughs> um, sometimes yeah. I'm able to hit this, but not other times. You'll get it. I, I, I think you can do it. How is playing this on the Pro Controller, is it? It's easy. Ooh! That was beautiful. Was <laughs> like a glove. I, um... Hell yeah. I've heard that from the reviews I saw of this collection, people were like, this is like the definitive, like... Mario 64 experience, like, it feels like the N64 controller was a piece of shit. Everyone yeah. knows it. Oh, yeah. And so it's like, this is how you should play it. Sure. I wonder if it's like, uh, just not kosher for the speedrunner community to rock this version. I yeah. bet, I bet they'll make a separate category for it, like, to play the 3D All-Star yeah. version. Because you, who knows how when they, when you port it to a new console, it's basically the, the the software is running an emulation of it, um, but who knows what changed? You know, it, it may it's, it may not be an exact copy of the code. They may have touched up a couple things just to make sure you know it runs well with the Switch hardware, and so um, you know so maybe some of the exploits don't work in the same way, or there might be new exploits. So I would imagine they would have its own category so people could try it out and see what's new. Yeah. The way that you dove bravely into that plant, bro, that was yeah. admirable. <laughs> I bet if you looked it up right now, they probably already solved. They probably there's probably a list of here's all the differences between the N64 version and the then the Switch version. Yeah. I heard there was um, a glitch in the original where you could backwards long jump, and um, you can't do that in this. I think I've seen that. I've oh, watched the some backwards speed long jump game. clip that people used to clip into like the first Bowser world. That one. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I tell you what. Um, and tool assisted runs especially that that we were watching one on TikTok the other day. Yeah, we were. Like to be honest, bro, I actually like I whenever there's a new world record speed run of you know uh, any any percentage or a hundred star of this game, I'll watch that shit. Like Cheese or whatever his name is, the uh, he holds he used to hold all the world records for like every category for this game. He's been getting out, beat out. It's just this kid from Spain who's nuts at the game. But uh, it's it's like one of the most popular sped run games of all time. Yeah. And I freaking am there for it. I think it's awesome yeah. to see. In fact, when Matt first started booting up the game and he started playing, and he didn't get the bridge skip of, from Lakitu when you enter the <laughs> castle for the first time, I was like, oh, why didn't he? And I was like, 
because it's a hard ass mechanic that takes yeah. years to master. Yeah. I just haven't seen it done normal in so long. <laughs> you know what I mean? Should we um, uh, do this next star in the next episode? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah.